Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Carol, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. Um, we're going to get our message here, but before we do, quick reminder to all of you. Uh, we are in August, and for all of August, I am giving half off personal finance readings so I would highly recommend that you get those because we are in the eighth month which is eights are all about abundance and we are in 2024 which is an eight year so that's why I chose to give the half off during August uh, if you've gotten a personal finance reading with me let them know if you enjoyed it and there is a link in the description box to my booking site if you're having a hard time finding it just Put it in the comments and I will link it to your comments. And I also want to say that I'm so glad that you guys like the new setup. I've gotten a lot of good comments about this new setup. So good, good, good. All right. Let's jump into this reading. Divine Source Creator. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please, for this reading? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy for this reading? Show us clearly. Show us clearly, please. Thank you. All right, so we have over here, we have the hex card, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that better. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. I love this, okay? I love this because there are a lot of shady things going on right now, and we all know it. And this may be someone you feel might be close to you. This could be a coworker. This could be anything that you're going through. I know I'm going through... <laughs> I'm going through one of these right now too. It's okay. But the best thing you can do is not speak, right? I often say the first one who speaks loses. This is the old saying of give somebody enough rope and they will hang themselves. So you are needing to let karma do its job. We don't do the karma. The karma is there for a reason. Things are going to work out in your, fav in your favor here. So this could be, a, you know, for example, and it's going to be different for all of you because it's a general reading. It could be maybe you're in a lawsuit, right? Let your lawyer do the talk and watch the other person hang themselves, right? Just don't even interact. You just sit back and watch, okay? You sit back and watch because I am telling you, you come out on top of this. Okay, you come out on top. And we all have to go through these situations every so often, right? Listen, you guys know, most of you know, if you've been here a while, that I always ask for the most positive reading. This is positive. You know why? Because it works out in your favor. But your job is not to force it, okay? Your job is not to force it to happen. Your job is to sit back. It's like that coworker who is bitching and complaining about everything, blah, 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 blah. And you know that they're in the wrong. You know that they're, uh, let's say, taking credit for work they didn't do. But instead of you run into the boss and saying so, you just let them, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, you, you let them play it out and watch. All they're talking, all their words are going to get them in trouble, right? <laughs> like the truth is going to come out. And sometimes that is, you know, the best way to handle this. So whatever this is in your life, again, it's different for all of you. Your job is to sit back kind of with a little bit of a shitting grin on your face and go, oh, let's watch this car crash, right? <laughs> so we're all going through it in some form. Some of you, it's bigger things. Some of it's smaller things. But whatever area of your life that this is, just know that if you just sit back and observe, there's no need to defend yourself. There's no need for explanations. There's no need for anything that, again, this works out in your favor. All right, let's see what we have in the tarot. Angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly. Show me clearly. What do we have going on here? Wow. Okay. First of all, I want to point out this hermit. This is the big card because what did I just say? I said, keep your mouth shut, right? <laughs> the hermit keeps his mouth shut. The hermit's just going to sit back in his chair, do his own thing, not bring attention to himself, and let it play out. Okay? Let it play out. Huge advice for you out there. And, and again, but here's the other thing. You're victorious. Look at the arm is up, right? Like, hey, I'm victorious. And, and how do you be victorious? By not saying a word. 
by not saying a word. This Ace of Cups came out reverse. However, I feel like I feel like a lot of you maybe feel like you're missing out on an opportunity of that for this. Right? Like someone's get and this is again just an example. Like somebody's getting the credit for the work you did. Don't you worry. Because karma, God, the divine, whatever you call it, is going to set it straight. Okay? So they're there an opportunity comes out of this. Okay? An opportunity comes out of this. And how they want me to explain that is that by you taking the advice from spirit and saying, you know what, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm just going to observe. We're going to use the work example. That person gets fired. You get promoted. So again, instead of being frustrated about it, instead of going, why is this happening? Don't trust, trust in spirit here. Okay. Trust in spirit because that new opportunity shows up for you because this person or this situation will again they'll hang themselves right they'll hang themselves show me clearly things are not going unnoticed let me just put it to you that way too whether this is a boss whether this is some sort of relationship whatever this is you think it's being unnoticed uh, -uh it's noticed the divine is noticing the boss is noticing it it is not being unnoticed. Then we have here the Eight of Wands, which is there's the communication. There it comes out, right? There's the misstep in the email. There is the communication you get from, you know, the boss who comes in and says, hey, we had to fire so-and-so. Uh, we want you to take the position, right? The communication is going to come in. The answer you seek is going to come in, or even better, maybe something unexpected that you didn't see coming. You, yeah, that person gets fired, but you didn't think that you were going to get the promotion. But something is at play here that you really just need to sit back and just watch it all unfold. Yeah, look at that seven of swords. Guys, I don't know what's going on with you. Trust me, again, I always want these to be very positive. This is a positive reading. But I am going through something very similar to this where it's like somebody's being sneaky and behind your back and you know that kind of seven of swords energy which i don't get that often but yeah somebody's basically trying to maybe not screw you directly sometimes indirectly by making themselves look better but there is a truth coming out that would be the ace of swords the truth is coming out this can't be hidden much longer okay wow Show me clearly, please. There we go. Ask and you shall receive, right? So the first card that we have here is the uh, Ten of Wands. Yeah. So that's it's it's very close to over. Okay. The Ten of Wands is your burden that you're putting up with it. <laughs> that's how I feel. Like this is such a burden putting up with this. I want to say something. Nope. Don't worry. This burden is going to be released. You're going to get the desired outcome. Um, some of you, like I said, it feels a little shocking. Like, oh, I just wanted this person out of the office because they're toxic. And it might be a little shocking to you that you do get the promotion, the raise, the, you know, the beneficial outcome. Okay, so that's wonderful. And then we also have here, uh, wow, this is beautiful. This Four of Wands is beautiful. This, lead, this reminds me of a... Uh, Oh, what deck is that? There's another deck where it's very similar. It's not the Four of Wands. I think it's like the Eight of Wands. I don't know um, that I have. Maybe that's a sign that I'm supposed to use that deck soon. Um, but this Four of Wands, this stability. But see this? It's like stairs. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, this is growth in some area. This could be the promotion, the raise. This could be the winning in court. This could be even in love. If someone screwed you over and you know i hate to be this way but if someone you know did you wrong did you dirty it's like the truth comes out but it benefits you because now you see that person for who they truly are which frees you to go meet somebody much better right <laughs> so however this plays out for you just know that it's like you're ascending the staircase up something is is 
going to promote you in some way. Okay, I absolutely love that. Um, because sometimes it is the right move to speak up for ourselves, you know. But sometimes it's not. I, I, that's all I can say. Sometimes it's just be patient, sit and wait. I love the bottom of the deck has the death card here. So this is coming to an end. This is coming to an end, and it does work in your favor. It will be, look at that, you can't even make that up. The Ace of Swords is right there, right underneath um, that death card. So that's two things with that. That is truth coming out, and it's, again, see what I was talking about? That, that truth is hidden right now, but it is coming out, right? It is coming out. I absolutely love this because I feel like, I feel like it's due for you. Like some of you, I feel like maybe you've been dealing with this for a long time. I feel like maybe you've been dealing with this for a long time and you've kept your mouth shut and you've been good about it. And you're like, okay, where are the results? The results are coming. Okay. The results are coming. I love it. Let's see what else we have here. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message? It's almost like I feel like saying, like, secrets come out. <laughs> I'm not going to take those because I don't feel like that was me. Oh, yeah. Retreat. You cannot make it up. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Do not say a word. Okay? Don't say anything. Okay? That's the first thing I'm getting. The other thing is because this card does say spoil your... I keep forgetting I have this new camera, guys. Uh, spoil yourself in the morning mist. Breathe in nature's sweet sense. So there is something you get to spoil yourself with. Like I said, maybe for some of you it is work and it's like the promotion and now I have more money and I get to spoil myself. But something comes out of this that benefits you, but you don't need to push it. Okay? The secret, I think that's what I'm going to name this. The secret is coming out. Right? Because they can't, they can't hide this anymore. They can't keep lying about this. They can't, they can't keep getting away with it. The universe is not willing to put up with it anymore. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right, my loves, don't forget to like, share, and comment. I read each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't. All of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.